Hey, my lovelies, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be continuing on with Mischief Maker. There's no, 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 we're not, we're not doing that. Mischief Maker, I didn't get everything done with Mischief Maker like I wanted to, because it's Trail Hero Week and everyone was coming in and catching up and chit-chatting and it was amazing and it gave me a zest of off-road life again because I've just been a little down in my boots about not being able to do anything or Mischief Maker being broken, not being able to even, you know, it is what it is. I've had the feels about it, but everyone coming in to say hello was just perfect timing. Now, also the week got cut short. My sister is in California, which is where I am right now, uh, for work for the next week. So I grabbed the opportunity to spend time just her and I, cause that never happens. And I was walking around downtown and yeah, it's beautiful and I love old buildings. And I just can't transfer that over to you guys with just walking around in the camera. If you were here with me, you, it would be completely different. So what I went and did is I booked an experience that I've always wanted to do, but never done. And I found somewhere here and you need driving skills. Well, you don't really need driving skills, but to make the experience even cooler, driving skills are kind of cool. And um, yeah, we're gonna see if I can, if I'm successful at it, or if I am absolutely diabolical at it. So let's go. That's right, I took myself to Rogue Racing Simulation Experience, where you get to experience the Red Bull Ring, which is the world-renowned motorsports racetrack in Austria. So it was time to get to class, start orientation, and get my butt in the driver's seat. I'm the owner, I'm Paul, welcome everybody. The place to get your, you know, feel your need for speed, right? Yes, sir. On the track and in the air. He knows what I'm going to say. Most combos today, too. Yeah. Yeah. How many have seen uh, Gran Turismo, the movie? Yeah, what? So I, I need to. <laughs> you haven't <laughs> seen it? <laughs> we get a lot of business because of that, because we're one of the only, only places in, in, around here that has racing simulators. I highly recommend it, even if you're not into racing. It's a true story about a kid who, who had his own little simulator set up at home. He became a professional race car driver. That's what he's doing today. All because he had done this so well. So I don't. We don't expect that from you. But what we do expect, or hope, is you're going to have a great time. Okay. I'm going to reiterate one thing Jacob said. Don't go too fast. Right? Because what people get in, they press that, that the gas pedal, and boom. But you don't have depth. You don't have that third dimension. So you crash all the time. The more you crash, less time on the track, less time getting familiar with the track. That's less the likely to get drafted. You want, yeah, you want to know, you want, after about four or five laps, you're going to get to recognize, oh, that's, I got to slow down this far or whatever on that corner and then another one. Oh, I know that corner. You're going to know when the turns are coming up. You're going to know when to, when to break and when to. So have fun. Jacob here is your guy. He will help each of you in the simulators. Okay. And he will help each of you out. He's great at that too. Okay. <laughs> I try the best. You go on over to one and you run. It was time to jump in the driver's seat and to be honest with you, I was really kind of nervous for some kind of reason. Remember, you can get these awesome t-shirts from MischiefMakerTV.com. Go ahead and grab those before they're out. I just went through a million cars. This is weird. This is so weird. Oh, okay, I'm going. Oh my god. Oh. I have never been good at simulators. Never. Oh my goodness. Let's go around. Why is this making me feel dizzy? Wow, wow, I'm literally terrible. Okay, I'm gonna stick to off-road, I think. 
of road racing <laughs> where there's no lines to stay in between. Okay guys, I don't think I'm gonna ever do things where there's lines and barriers because apparently I'm absolutely horrendous at it. Especially going around a corner. I'm sorry whoever this is, I apologize. Okay, okay. Make me wildly dizzy. Awesome. Hey. Oh, oh someone's bumping me. I don't want to bump this guy. Oh no. I'm so terrible at this. These are bigger vehicles, like a faster vehicle. They handle a little different. You just gotta keep it nice and slow. Remember with this one, we're gonna wanna break a lot earlier. The speeds are a lot higher, but your brakes are gonna be good and your brakes are Yeah, it's very weird. I love it though. Yeah. Ooh. Someone by, coming up behind me really fast, which I think is a mistake because you got a turn coming. Oh, nope, that guy totally bashed into me. That was rude, whoever that was, but it's okay because you crashed up there. Karma. After a while, I actually really got into it and got into a little bit of a groove. My sickness went away and I was really, really enjoying the experience. here at Rogue Racing in, where, where, where am I? I know I'm in California, but whereabouts? Anaheim, Anaheim. the land of Disney. Anaheim. This is Jacob, Jacob works here, and what is this all about? Who comes here? Why is it here? Who started it? This is Rogue Racing. This is a, this is a business started by an individual named Paul. You can look him up in his credentials. Google Paul Wigbaldi. He uh, started this business about 17 years ago near the stadium and we've moved locations since and added this or uh, this specific section, Rogue Racing, to what once was specifically Flight Deck, oh, okay. which is where we had our F-16 jet fighters in the back. Now, we're once the primary focus of the uh, facility back when we had that other location. Oh. Specializing in two features now, we had to open up uh, a lot more of a facility to, to have the room and the space for this. So how many simulators do you have here? We have eight simulators here, uh, two of which are non-motion. We do experience people who, you don't have to have vertigo. Some people just get freaked out by the triple monitor I'm, system. I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah. I was feeling pretty sweaty and throw up -y. I'd say that it's after more common first, than you'd anticipate. After it the is. first one, I was like, just breathe, it's not real. It doesn't phase me, which is odd because I'm sensitive to a lot of different things, but I will tell you that uh, I make sure people know not to feel embarrassed by that, to let me know immediately because it's much more common than you'd think. And we have puke bags and uh, Wow. and uh, shot glasses of water and everything prepared in case somebody Amazing. may not be as adjusted to it as they anticipated. Yeah, it was it was a very <laughs> odd sensation, I have to say. I was like, it's not real. You're it's fine. New. It's not real. Throws off the fine. senses because you go from standing in this building to being in a genuine simulator. That's the thing about it, oh, is yeah. the authenticity. The motion is actually reacting to a laser-scanned track. From what I've been informed, every bump, nook, cranny, that you're running over is a perfect representation of what it is currently on the track. 
So you so. have a lot of people come in here. You have a lot of movie stars come in here for preparing for movies and doing stuff yes. like that. Yes. This uh, is kind of the place to go. We do. Yeah. It is kind of it is kind of a hubble for different demographics. I got to say that I say you know we we have a wide statistic range for demographics because we'll have again foot traffic come check us out if we uh, if we have openings in our booking reservation system uh, we will do it. open yeah more than open to a walk in uh, like yeah. the demographic boils down to individuals trying to stay freshened up for their next track race uh, yeah. individuals who are into aviation so if we're over the fighter jet simulation or the 737 simulator which I don't know if you've checked out yet or not I have not no completely operable interface for a 737 Boeing commercial flight wow. with a pilot in there instructing an individual to take it up and land it safely uh, so much so that Gerard Butler shot a movie in there or at least trained in there uh, to seem as accurately portray a, a, a pilot as possible yeah and uh, it is it is the front of an airplane Perfect. I'm gonna yeah. leave all the information in the description below if you're in the area definitely come check it out I absolutely enjoyed the time you can hear from everything I said when I was driving well, thank you so much for this awesome experience. I know I'll definitely be back again. Please. But guys, that's it. This is what I've been up to. Instead of off-roading and working on Mischief Maker, I've been in California enjoying my time. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.